okay in the controls enhanced input control remapping system now we have completed working on setting up new controls so now we can press any key we want and apply and when we go back the changes persist and also now if i press alt i can jump instead of space because i set the alt instead of space here so the next thing remaining to complete in this control remapping system with enhanced input system is reset to default so at the moment it is not working and that's what we are going to work on today so uh i haven't quite uh figured out how exactly the enhanced input system is working but here we do have reset to default this option and if i do this option if i call this function let's see if it is working so left doors but if i reset it should be changed back to space because that's the default value we had but even if i reset go back it's not changed and also in this uh input mapping context oh, this is not ia this is imc in this in put mapping context for jump now this is also changed so so therefore since that uh, i think there is a way to make this work because uh, with the key change in also i have done it this way i directly set the mapping key but there is a way to add player map key but that part is no, i couldn't make it work so until i realize until i completely figure that out what i'm planning to do is i'm going to duplicate this um, input mapping context inc player default i'm going to name it as default so we are not going to change any of the data in this because we are going to keep it in the default way then we already have a controller mapping let me duplicate that controller mapping default okay now what i'm trying to do is get the controller mapping we already have uh, reference to imc player and this one here we need a reference to imc player default okay now get mappings of the controller mapping because there is no way to set mappings Uh, at once so for each mapping what I'm gonna do is this this is controller mapping similarly I'm gonna get the mappings of the default the default mappings too and for each element we can find this element wait no no we can get a reference using this index and if i split this we can access the key as well here so for this key we can set members 
and set the key like this and compile and also after we do this we need to reinitialize the key mapping so let's add the first time uh, the reason to reinitialize is otherwise we will not see the changes in the ui so here init key init keys and here init keys okay let's see if this is working all right settings controls let me change this to something else and press reset see it's working okay reset it's working and go back the previous controls are there now let's see controls let's actually have something else left control apply go back now with the control i can jump if i go back controls and reset and again it's not working for some reason not sure why uh, go back resume still I'm jumping with left alt okay so this is uh, left control this is now change to left control but here we should still have spacebar yeah okay so i think hmm. is it because in this voyage loop are we not exactly getting a reference are we getting an array a, a copy mm -hmm. maybe that's the case so to, real, to find that out here we break recombine Oh, let's do it this way get a reference like this so now we are getting a reference from the controller mapping which is the mapping that we actually use and then set member here from get key oh no break and get only key and compile okay now let's check settings controls this is left control reset ah it's working now and resume well oh i'm still jumping with left control so the changes are not applied hmm. now applied so i think here we have to call get 
Player Controller. Refresh key mapping. So this is something that we implemented. This is not a default function. Default default even. This is something we implemented yesterday. So in case you don't remember, here is the implementation. We implemented it through this BPI PC menu. Okay. Now all should be good. Let's check. Controls space bar change the to left hold. If I reset, it changes right away. Let me keep left hold and apply it. Now jump in with left hold. Pause game again. Left hold is here. Press the space bar. Sorry, reset now space bar. Oh, it's not it didn't ask to apply. Ah, yeah. Okay, it is applied already. Okay. Now we're good. All the, everything is working as expected. So yeah, that's how you implement uh, reset to default of key mapping. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the veteran page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.